Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess. This is your fortnightly reading for the second half of August, August 16th through to the 31st. So moving out of Leo season into Virgo season, we'll see how that goes for you. Uh, this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate or parts of it may resonate just take what feels right for you and leave the rest if it does resonate there will be an extended reading and we'll look into the energies more deeper which is always really lovely and fun and we will also take a look into the future beyond this reading so yeah let's get stuck into this shall we Gemini Ten of Swords crossed by the Tower. Wow, what is going on for you, Gemini? The Death card. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles. It turns out it's all good. The Fool. Oh, my goodness. Temperance. Oh, wow. The Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. Stella has just come in and decided to join us for your reading. My beautiful cat, Stella. Two of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Wow. And at the base, the Five of Cups. So, gosh, there's some big energies coming through for you, Gemini. All right. Let's see if I can see Stella's sat on the death card. <laughs> She's like, no, you're not reading that card. Oh, we've got as a message from Soul and Spirit, the Hawk. Okay, beautiful. So let's get kickstart this Gemini with a message from the angels. <laughs> You're funny, Stella. Okay, message from the angels for Gemini. She's like, change? What change? There's no death card here. What are you talking about? We've got three cards that have come out. Let go, unlikely, and if you believe. Oh, yeah, she's going to eat. Hey, if you believe. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm going to know what that card is. It's going to forever have um a big hole in it. My goodness. Thank you, Stelly, for that. She's probably a bit cranky and hungry. You want some food, do you? So we've got let go, unlikely, and if you believe. So this is with these cards, there's very much a question of surrendering and faith. So... Yep, this is going to be, with these energies around, I can definitely see that for you, Gemini. So let's have a look at this. Ten of Swords crossed by the Tower. Wow, okay, so there's been a big ending here and there's been a big shake-up as well. Uh, you can't eat these cards, Deli. Okay, might have to go feed her, Gemini, if she's going to do this. We'll see. You want Stick around for Gemini's reading. Okay. So we'll get some psychic vibes off Stella and see how she goes. We've got the Ten of Swords crossed by the Tower. Uh, quite a tumultuous ending has occurred here. Uh, it crossed by the Tower in that... You know, sometimes the Ten of Swords does come with with peace and it might be that you're not even knowing that something has ended because there's so much chaos around but there is an ending here with this ten of swords energy that's come through and there is it does look quite macabre this card but sometimes it can just be the ending of a way of thought process a way of thinking and the ten of the tower is you know opening up and it's shaking up those belief systems so it could be something like that as well um, as well as a physical, it could be a physical ending. So, you know, we have on in your conscious mind, we have the death card. You know, there's obviously a big change and a transformation coming through or this is what you're wanting. And again, you might not be seeing it because the tower energy is there, but it is happening. It is definitely on your mind a big change. And so you're wanting something to transform in your life. Sorry, Gemini, <laughs> to um, had a little interruption and Stelly's gone for the moment. She's actually here. She's just in the chair next to us. She might turn up to eat more cards. But the good news is at the base of the issue, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, 
what this change is actually all about is foundations, foundational wealth, bringing money in, bringing stability in, um, long-term success for some of you as well. So this is really, really positive energy that's at the bottom of it. It's just you might not actually be at the moment, it might feel like a lot of chaos. You might not be feeling this right at this minute, but there's just a really, really positive change coming through in terms of career and money and ha home and finances. So that's why it's like you're getting let go unlikely. And if you believe that this is a little bit of a, um, you're going through a big transition at the moment and it's a bit of a initiation by fire almost. So you do need to let go and allow the process to happen. In the recent past, and it does require some faith and trust in the process in the universe, the recent past we have the fool. So, you know, so many major arcanas you, in this spread here, Gemini, just in the immediate environment. Recent past, here's the new beginning coming in. So the lovely new energy, the fresh energy of the fool might have required a leap of faith. Again, it's that sense of maybe taking faith a leap of faith stepping into the new then suddenly you know this big ending the tower energy you can have a little freak out moment after that happens and there is a big change there's a big change happening here so uh yeah lovely fresh energy of taking um a, a leap into the unknown lovely new energy stepping into the new so this this wonderful energy that is on offer here so we've got a very strong beginning and a very strong ending that's occurring here. So it's all really positive. In the near future, we have the temperance card. So this is regaining the balance that you so desperately are needing at the moment with that tower energy being quite disruptive. There's quite a disruptive change. It might be hard to accept the change or it's bringing a lot of disruption. So it's it's hard to actually... Yeah, but um, with this temperance energy, balance is restored, the flow starts to happen, things start to expand again, you're going to feel a lot better. Uh, so you in the situation is presenting as the eight of pentacles, so you're working really, really hard at this. It's um, You want this to work. You really, really want this to work. And so, yeah, you are dedicated, you're you really are using all your gifts and talents. You're creating something here. So, yeah, you really, I think there's a wonderful, a positive attitude determination that's coming through here. Uh, surrounding energies, we have the Page of Cups. So there's something unexpected coming through here, something, an unexpected offer or something really creative and un, an, a creative idea that just pops up out of the blue. This could be someone offering unexpected, there's an unexpected element to this as someone coming and offering help and or an apology for some of you. But I do feel like this is more a helpful energy, the page of cups coming through. Uh, so someone that you weren't expecting, there's, there's something that's kind of going to give you a little bit of a boost here. Uh, hopes and fears is the two of swords. Yeah, you want to. You don't want to be in the dark about this. You don't want to be in a period of stagnation. You want to be moving forward. You want to see things clearly. You want to be able to be making decisions or make a decision here. You don't want to be feel stuck. And but I feel like that's not going to happen <laughs> with the energy around you. We have the as an outcome the ten of wands. So it's funny you got the message let go because this is letting go of something that has been a huge burden to you. You can hear the kookaburras in the background, Gemini. Uh, the, yeah, the kookaburras, there's a song about kookaburras, laugh, kookaburra, laugh. And it's, you know, we're just saying letting go of a burden and then there's laughter comes ringing through. It's like have a laugh, have some fun, enjoy yourself, be able to laugh at the situation, bring that spirit of joy in, let go of that thing that has been so heavy and dragging you down. So, yeah, and it's funny because, you know, speaking of birds, here's your message from soul and spirit, a bird, it happens to be a hawk, and the hawk is all around gaining things in your life from a higher perspective, things in your human life, 
in your material world, understanding that from a higher perspective. This is not spirit. Eagle is the bird of spirit. Hawk is the bird of what's happening in your life. So it's overseeing a lot of events, a lot of things, a lot of big changes that are happening here and getting a clear, uh, very clear view of what's going on, a very clear perspective of what's going on here. So it's really, really, it's really positive. It's really positive. And there is a sense of if you believe. So we have as an overall energy that um, the five of cups, and that's sometimes a message of being stuck in the past and letting go of an energy of or a past hurt here and being able to turn around to the future and see that there's two cups standing, not focus on what's been lost because there is a sense of need to let go of that now, something that's occurred in the past and step forward into the new energy, into that new full energy that's coming through. So there's just all these it's like uh, it's like I said. It's some kind of. It's a bit like a passage of fire, getting l releasing and letting stuff go, allowing the big change to come through. But at the base of it is that stability, and there's wealth. So, yeah, it's a question of faith and trust, Gemini. So I hope that makes sense for some of you, or <laughs> well, for a lot of you. Uh, it is, we're going to look at this in more detail in the Vimeo Deep Read and look at the future beyond this. So if you'd like to join me there, you, it's actually get some new information, some fresh insights. We can delve deeper into some of those big changes and what's going on with that tower energy. If you'd like to join me there, the link is in the description box below. If this is where you're leaving me and we're leaving each other, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this helped. And please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care, Gemini. See you next time. Bye.